Hi guys, our next video is about journal entries for service business. So yung mga transactions dito ay mga common transactions na nangyayari sa isang service business. So ano ba ang ating business? Ito ang ating business, Angel Oxine established ang Get Laundry Shop on June 1, 2002. So the following transactions occurred during the month. The first transaction, on June 1, Angel Oxine invested 200,000 cash to establish the business. Let us analyze the transaction. So in analyzing the transaction, first is to identify the accounts affected. Tapos classify natin guys yung account. Asset ba siya? Uh, liability ba siya? Owner's equity? Expense? Revenue? Okay. And then next is, ano ang effect ng transaction? Nag-increase ba? Or nag-decrease? And then, next na gagawin is, uh, identify natin ano ba ang dapat gawin dun sa account, i-debit ba natin, or i-credit. So, sa first transaction natin, wherein Angel Loxin invested 200,000 pesos cash to establish the business, ang first account na affected is cash. Uh, anong type ng account si cash? Of course, this is an asset. So, nung nag-invest si Angel Oxy ng 200,000 pesos na cash, anong nangyari sa asset? Nadagdagan ba o nabawasan? Siyempre, nadagdagan, nag-increase. And then, another account affected is Loxin Capital. Anong type of account? This is owner's equity account. What happened to our owner's equity nung nag-invest si Angel Oxy ng 200,000 pesos cash? Siyempre, guys, nag-increase or nadagdagan. So, ano ba ang rules? Una, increases in asset daw ay debit. So, ibig sabihin, magde-debit tayo, magde tayo ng cash. And then, the second rule is increase in owner's equity. O, pag nag-increase daw ang owner's equity, tayo ay magkikredit. Ayan na. So, ibig sabihin, magkikredit tayo ng Loxin Capital. So, what will be the journal entry? Ito ang ating journal entry. First, of course, ang date ng transaction, June 1. Then we have the debit account, so debit cash. Okay, the debit amount magkano? 200,000 pesos. And then the credit account, so we credit Loxin Capital. Tapos the credit amount, 200,000 pesos. Tapos, a brief description lamang ng transaction. So this is initial investment of Angel Loxin. And guys, don't forget to check kung ang total ng mga amount sa debit at ang total ng amount sa credit ay equal. Kasi dapat equal sila. So, huwag kakalimutan yon. Next, transaction. Paid taxes and licenses, 2,500 pesos. Let us analyze this one. So, ano ang accounts affected? Una, taxes and licenses. Anong klaseng account ito? Ito ay expense. So, anong nangyari sa expense nung nagbayad tayo ng taxes and licenses? Siyempre, nag-increase or nadagdagan. Ano pa ang accounts affected? We have cash. Anong type of account ito? This is an asset. Nung nagbayad tayo ng taxes and licenses, anong nangyari sa cash? Siyempre, guys, nagbayad tayo. So, nag-decrease or nabawasan. Ang rules, kapag nag-increase ang expenses, ano daw? Tayo ay nag-debit. Tayo ay nag-debit. So, we debit taxes and licenses. Kapag nag-decrease ang asset, tayo ay nag-credit. Kaya, we credit cash. So, paano ang ating entry? Our entry will be, first, the date, June 2. Then, debit taxes and licenses, 2,500 pesos. Credit cash. 2,500 pesos, and a short description, paid taxes and licenses. Tapos, check ulit natin kung ang total ng amount sa debit at total ng amount sa credit ay pareho. Dapat equal sila. Now, we proceed to the next transaction. On June 4, bought tables and chairs on account, 10,000 pesos. So, bumili tayo ng tables and chairs on account. Ang halaga nung binili natin, 10,000 pesos. Let us analyze, guys. Anong accounts ang affected? Of course, furniture and fixture, laging tatandaan. Kapag may tables and chairs, dapat ang pumasok sa utak ninyo, 
yung furniture or depende sa chart of accounts kung anong meron. Kung walang chart of accounts, furniture and fixture, okay na yon. So, this is an asset. So, nang bumili ng tables and chairs, anong nangyari sa asset natin? Siyempre guys, nag-increase. Tapos, ano pang accounts affected? Accounts payable. Bakit accounts payable? Kasi nga, binili siya on account. Ibig sabihin ito guys ay utang. So, accounts payable is a liability. Anong nangyari sa ating liability nung umutang tayo ng tables and chairs? Siyempre, nadagdaga, nag-increase ito. So, ano ang rules? Una, increase in asset. Kapag nag-increase ang asset, magde-debit tayo. So, we debit furniture and fixture. Then, kapag nag-increase ang liability, mag-credit tayo. So, we credit accounts payable. The entry, first the date, June 4. Then, debit, furniture and fixture, 10,000 pesos. Credit accounts payable, 10,000 pesos. Then, short description, bought tables and chairs on account. Tapos, check natin kung equal si debit at saka si credit na amounts. I hope na kukuha guys, di ba? Madali lang mag-analyze. Now, we go to the next transaction. On June 5, paid rent for the month, 6,500 pesos. Let us analyze ano ang accounts na affected. We have rent expense. Rent expense. Anong type ng account ito? Ito ay expense. Anong nangyari sa ating expense nung nagbayad tayo ng rent? Siyempre guys, nag-increase. Ano pa ang affected? We have cash kasi nagbayad tayo eh. Ito ay asset. Nung nagbayad tayo ng rent, anong nangyari sa ating asset? Nabawasan or nag-decrease. So, ano ang rule? Una, increase in expenses. Magde-debit tayo. So, we debit rent expense. Tapos, decrease in asset. Magkikredit tayo guys. So, we credit cash. So, ang entry natin will be on June 5. Debit rent expense, 6,500. Credit cash, 6,500. And the description, paid rent. Tapos, check ulit natin if equal si debit at si credit amounts. I hope na kukuha. Now, we proceed to the next transaction. Bought washers and dryers, 150,000 pesos, giving 50,000 down payment with the remainder due in 30 days. So, ulitin ko. Bought washers and dryers, worth 150,000. Tapos, guys, nagbigay tayo ng down payment na 50,000. Yung balance daw ay due in 30 days. Utangin muna natin yung balance after 30 days natin babayaran. So, analyze natin ito. We have three accounts na affected dito. Ang unang account is of course laundry equipment. Bakit laundry equipment? Pag sinabi nating mga washers, dryers, dapat ang pumasok sa isip natin ay equipment. So since laundry shop tayo, ang magandang term is laundry equipment. Ito ay asset. So nung bumili tayo ng washers and dryers, anong nangyari sa ating asset? Siyempre guys, nadagdaga, nag-increase. Ano pa ang affected? Cash. Cash is an asset. Anong nangyari kay cash nung bumili tayo ng washers and dryers kasi nag-down payment tayo ng 50,000? Nag-decrease or nabawasan. Kasi guys, nagbigay tayo ng 50,000 kaya nabawasan ng ating pera. Ano pa ang affected? Accounts payable. Bakit affected si accounts payable? Kasi nga, nakalagay dyan, the remainder is due kailan daw in 30 days. So may utang tayo. Accounts payable is a liability. Anong nangyari sa liability? Nung bumili tayo ng washers and dryers, nagdagdagan ang ating utang. So, ano ang rules? Una, increase in asset, magde-debit. So, we debit laundry equipment. Decrease in asset, magkikredit. Kaya, we credit cash. Tapos, increase in liability, credit. Kaya magkikredit tayo ng accounts payable. So, paano ang ating entry? Date muna, June 8. Debit laundry equipment, magkano? 150,000. Yun, yun yung halaga guys ng equipment. Tapos, credit tayo ng cash, magkano? 50,000. Yun yung ating down payment. 
then credit tayo ng accounts payable, 100,000. So, saan nang gagaling si 100,000? 150,000 yung halaga ng ating washers and dryers or yung ating laundry equipment. Pero nakabayad na tayo guys ng 50,000 na cash. Ayan, so minus natin siya. 100,000 na lang ang ating accounts payable which is due in 30 days. And then description tayo, bought washers and dryers. And check natin guys, total debit natin, 150,000. Ang total ng credit natin, 50,000 plus 100,000 is 150,000. So equal silang dalawa. Dapat lagi siyang equal. Now we go to the next transaction. On June 10, received 18,000 from cash customers. Okay, may mga cash customers tayo. Nagbayad agad sila. Naka-receive tayo ng 18,000. So, let us analyze. Ano yung accounts affected? Una, of course, cash. Ito ay asset. Since nakatanggap tayo ng cash, anong nangyari sa ating asset? Nadagdagan or nag-increase. Bakit ba tayo guys nagkaroon ng cash? Nagkaroon tayo ng cash kasi nag-render tayo ng service, naglaba tayo, okay, para sa ating mga customers pero nagbayad sila ng cash. So, ano pang affected na account? We have service income or it can be service revenue. Tapos, or pwede din siya guys na laundry revenue, depende ah kung ano yung nasa chart of accounts. So, kung walang chart of accounts, pwede gamitin ng service income, service revenue, or kung anong revenue ang related doon sa ating business na itinayo. This is revenue, of course. So, ano nangyari sa ating revenue nung tayo ay nag-render ng service sa ating cash customers? Siyempre, nadagdagan, nag-increase. So, ano ang rules? Una, increase in asset, debit tayo. So, we debit cash. Then, increase in revenue, ano ang rule? Credit tayo, guys. So, we credit service income. Our entry, the date, June 10, debit cash, magkanong 18,000, credit service income, 18,000, then the description, and check natin kung equal silang dalawa. Next transaction, June 13, paid 2,000 for a one-year insurance policy o nagbayad tayo ng insurance policy. Analyze natin anong accounts affected. Una, of course, insurance expense. Pwede din gamitin dito guys ang prepaid insurance kapag ang ginamit mo ay asset method. Hanapin nyo lang yung discussion ko sa asset method. So, insurance expense is an expense account. So, anong nangyari? Nagbayad tayo ng insurance na dagdagan ng ating expenses. Tapos, ano pa affected? Cash. Siyempre, nagbayad tayo eh. This is an asset. So, what happened to our asset nung nagbayad tayo ng insurance policy? Nag-decrease or nabawasan. Ang rules, increase in expenses, magdi-debit tayo guys. So, debit insurance expense. Decrease in asset, credit. So, magkikredit tayo ng cash. Our entry, of course, the date first, June 13. Insurance expense, 2,000, debit yan. Tapos credit cash, 2,000 pesos. And then description and check kung equal si debit and credit amounts. For the next transaction, June 15, build Neil Arce for the laundry services rendered, 5,000 pesos. Ang ibig sabihin nito guys, Nagpadala tayo ng bill kay Neil Arce. So, meaning hindi pa siya nagbabayad. Nakapaglaba na tayo. Nakapag-render na tayo ng service, hindi pa siya nagbabayad. Kaya, nagpadala tayo ng bill. So, analyze natin siya. Unang account affected, accounts receivable. Bakit tayo nagkaroon ng accounts receivable? Kasi nga, hindi pa siya nagbabayad. Nakapaglaba na tayo. So, meron tayong pautang. Accounts receivable. This is asset. Ano nangyari sa ating asset? Nadagdagan. Ano pa ang affected guys? Service income. Bakit? Nag-render tayo ng service eh. So, we earned an income already. So, this is a revenue. What happened to our revenue? Siyempre guys, nadagdagan. Nag-increase. Ang rules? Increase in asset. Ano daw? Debit. So, we debit accounts receivable. Increase in revenues? Credit. So, we credit service income. Ating journal entry, June 15 for the date, debit accounts receivable, 5,000 pesos, 
credit service income, 5,000 pesos. Short description natin and check natin kung equal si debit and credit amounts. Okay, for the next transaction, June 17, Angel Oxin withdrew cash for personal use, 3,000 pesos. Analyze natin guys, anong accounts affected? Una, Loxin drawing or pwede din Loxin withdrawal. Ito ay owner's equity account, kaya lang guys, drawing or withdrawal is a contra account. Saan siya nakakontra? Sa owner's equity. So, ano ang effect ni drawing kay owner's equity? Binabawasan niya, decrease. Si drawing, ang effect kay owner's equity is dinidecrease niya. Then, ano pa ang affected cash? Kasi kumuha siya ng cash for personal use. Take note guys ha, basta for personal use ang kinuha na cash sa business, i-charge natin yon sa drawing. So, cash is an asset. Siyempre, nung kumuha siya ng cash sa business for personal use, ang ating asset ay nabawasan. So, ang rule natin, decrease in owner's equity, debit. So, with debit, loxin drawing or loxin withdrawal. Decrease in asset, credit tayo guys. So, we credit cash. For our entry, the date, June 17. So, debit, loxin drawing, 3,000 pesos. Credit cash, 3,000 pesos. And then, description. Tapos, check natin kung equal si debit and credit amounts. For the next transaction, June 20, receive 5,000 from Neil Arce. If you remember, nag-send tayo ng bill kay Neil Arce, di ba? So ngayon, nagbayad na siya. Naka-receive tayo ng 5,000 mula sa kanya. So analyze natin, guys. Ano ang affected? Cash. Bakit cash? Nakatanggap tayo ng pera eh. This is an asset. So, anong nangyari sa asset nung nakatanggap tayo ng cash? Nadagdagan. Tapos, ano pang affected natin, guys? Accounts receivable. Ang accounts receivable ay asset din. So, what happened to accounts receivable? Bakit affected sa accounts receivable? Kasi, nung nag... Uh, bayad si Neil Arce ng 5,000 pesos, ang nangyari is nabawasan ang ating pautang. So dahil nabawasan ang ating pautang, ano ang nangyari? Nag-decrease ang ating asset. So take note guys ha, nag-decrease ang ating asset. Bakit nag-decrease ang ating asset? Kasi ang accounts receivable ay asset. Nung nagbayad na si Neil Arce, Nabawasan ang ating pautang. Nabawasan ang ating accounts receivable. So, ano ang rule? Ang rules? Increase in asset, magde-debit tayo. So, debit cash. Decrease in asset, magkikredit tayo. So, credit, accounts receivable. What will be our entry? On June 20, our entry will be debit cash, 5,000 pesos. Credit accounts receivable, 5,000 pesos. Then, a short description and check natin if equal sila. Okay, for the next transaction, June 25, received and paid electric bill 1,000 pesos. Let us analyze this. Naka-receive ng electric bill guys, tapos nagbayad din ng electric bill. So, utilities expense, laging tatandaan kapag electric bill yan, kapag electric bill yan, uh, utilities expense ang ginagamit natin na account or kung may ibang account na ginamit sa chart of accounts natin like uh, light, water, and telephone expense, pwede din. Pero kadalasan, utilities expense. Type of account, this is an expense. Anong nangyari sa ating expenses nung nagbayad tayo ng electric bill? Kasi meron tayong natanggap na electric bill. Nag-increase of course. Nagdagdagan. Ano pang affected? Cash. Anong type ng account si cash? Asset. Anong nangyari kay cash? Siyempre, nagbayad tayo guys. So, nabawasan. Decrease. And then, ano ang rules? Increase ng expenses? Debit. So, with debit, utilities expense. Tapos, decrease in assets? Credit. So, we credit cash. What will be our entry? On June 25, debit, utilities expense, 1,000 pesos. Credit cash, 1,000 pesos. 
paid electric bill. That is our short description. And check natin kung equal silang dalawa. O, di ba? Madali lang mag-analyze. Next, June 30, paid salaries 15,000 pesos. Let us analyze this. Anong accounts ang affected? Nagbaya do tayo ng sweldo, guys. So, syempre, affected si salaries expense. This is an expense. Anong nangyari sa ating expenses? O, syempre, nadagdagan. Ano pa ang affected? Cash. Ito ay asset. What happened to our asset na nagbayad tayo ng salary? Siyempre guys, nabawasan, decrease. So ano ang rules? Increase in expenses, tayo ay mag-debit. So we debit salaries expense. Decrease in assets, tayo ay mag-credit. So tayo ay mag-credit ng cash. Okay, for journal entry on June 30, debit salaries expense, 15,000 credit cash. 15,000 paid salaries of employees and check natin if ito ay equal. Okay, mga common transactions yun. So, I hope na intindihan siyang mabuti. Um, for specific uh, transactions like in investment, purchase of, or acquisition of assets, may separate video ako para dito. And then, para sa format ng paggawa ng journal entries, meron ding separate videos tungkol dito. Now, if hindi ka marunong pagdating sa rules ng debit at debit at saka credit, uh, hanapin nyo lang guys yung videos ko tungkol dito. Marami ding video tutorials pa na meron dito. So, I hope mas naintindihan natin. And I will be uh, preparing more videos pa pagdating sa service business, like mga common transactions then. So, pakihintay na lang yon. So, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, pa-subscribe na lang. Thank you for listening and for watching this video.